So I just took the as a GT1 uh, gaming case out. Um, I've owned this case before. I've done builds in it and stuff, um, but I had to unbox it, take it back out of its box because I need a part out of it. And this was one of the reasons why I bought this case. Check this out. See the back piece? You take out the back screws and the tray will just slide right out of the case like that pretty cool right you can even take it flip it and put it back in the case and now the motherboard and everything will be on the other side same with the panel the panel will come off and go around and that one will go around and come over here but I need the motherboard tray out of it like this because we are going to do some ice water overclocking and I need a platform to build off of. So I thought I would use this. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so what we need next is a radiator. And we're probably going to use one of the big boys today. And then also we're going to use heat tubing or that kind of insulation to keep the tubes from getting too cold and causing condensation to build up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do ice water. I'm going to build a computer, a testing bench. We're going to hook ice water up to it and we're going to overvolt, overclock the shit out of it. And we're going to see if we can push a higher score out of it by super cooling it. Um, I try to get my hands on liquid nitrogen, but it is a big deal to own here. You just can't go into a store and buy it like you can in other states. In my state, you either have to pay a person to be here with you, um, or you have to have like a, a certificate or something, a permit, whatever. But um, we got plenty of uh, a computer accessories and parts to choose from, plenty, plenty of power supplies. What we're going to run today is well this is for a different project uh what do i got in here this is uh i think eight gig sticks ddr4 yeah eight gig sticks ddr4 that's what we're going to use for our memory um this is for a different project i want to try to build a wall pc oh okay i want to build a wall pc and uh, that's what this project's going to be eventually once we get around to it uh, but anyway, we're going to be using uh, the MSI Arctic Tomahawk. It's a Z270 mother chip, uh, motherboard chipset. And with it, we're going to run an i5-6600. And hopefully we can get this thing to over. I want to push it. We're going to push it real good. You know what I mean? So I got some more computer stuff in today. Um, these... Check these out, sleeve extenders. Sorry, I'm trying to drive and film at the same time, which isn't exactly the best of ideas, but you know, I'll let you guys look at them. They look cool, right? I love that green and black pattern. A lot of the builds that I do evolves around either the color green or the color blue, so I want sleeve extensions to uh, go with it. But I want to show you all this. Look at this, and I'm going to... I'm going to have something to say about this, but look how this package came. See it? See how it came? It's a damn SSD, bro. Like, y'all can't be shipping shit like this. What the hell's wrong with these people? Look at the box. You know, I keep the boxes. So, this is garbage. Like, I don't want this shit. The box is all ripped up. I'm sure the NVM drive inside is is probably damaged in some way. I mean, look at this damn thing. It's ridiculous. So, yep, be calling Amazon and, and complaining about this because I shouldn't receive anything, especially when I paid the money I paid for that. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And as always, thank you for watching. Check out the mountains. You're about to see the mountains. Look, there they are. Off into the background.
And then this crazy ass curved road is crazy. It's not hard filming and driving. But see, look at it, blinds, and then you got this huge field. And there's the river over there. You can see it, see the river? Or the stream, whatever you want to call it. And uh, on our way to Wak. On our way to where you don't want to go off the road and hit one of them. That would suck. All right, I'm out of here. Let's let this video play. I just, uh, you know, me being me. <laughs> oh. So not only is the item box destroyed, but this is broke also. Look at this. Look at what I found. See that capacitor right there? Look at that one. It's gone. It's like it's busted or something. See it? I know you can see it. It's right there. See how that one is nice? And there this one is gone you can see that the board is damaged you can see it right there where my finger is so yeah so not only is it junk but it's broke and then look look at look at the bin in it see it it's bent they sent me a used broken piece of crap that look at that that capacitor it's it's loose as well see it it's loose it's kind of like how that one right there broke off and I mentioned that that it's bent you can see that it's bent this is the first time I've ever ordered um, from this brand XPG uh, I'm sure this is the way the seller did it it's not a used product I bought a new one so they sent me a used one which is ridiculous I mean nobody needs to spend you know seventy dollars on a drive and it show up in this condition this is a uh, something that came with it it's just a cover piece for the drives but uh, I don't think you guys should order this style of drive the s6 6000 s wait a minute I'll let it focus XP s6000 light um, and it's an SSD I thought it was a an NVMe drive I know it's NVMe, but I want it to be PCI Express. I didn't want it to be SATA. Uh, but those exposed parts like that, that's not good. I mean, you can break that too easily. I mean, just the little bit of handling that I've done, I've already, when I arrived, when it arrived, it was busted right there. That was broken already. And then, of course, the box came like this. And, of course, Amazon's like, oh, it's a third-party seller. We can't do nothing for you. We'll have to reach out to the seller. And, of course, the seller's like, ah, oh, go fuck yourself. So, we all know how that happens. But, yeah, that's my experience. I mean, the, the drive is bent. Look, see what I mean? The drive is bent. Look at that. That's. Let me see here. Look, it, I wonder if that will focus. Probably not, cause my camera sucks. But I mean, you you can clearly see even with it. There it is. Look, see, it's bent. It don't even lay correctly. Flat. Man, this is a joke. This is what I get for trying to buy another drive lovely should have got the 500 gig maybe it would have been a little bit different but anyway I just wanted to show you guys that remember how I mentioned earlier that I was I bought three boxes of sleeve extension cables two of them were Asian horse and this one is formula mod if you guys are wondering what the noise is it's that over there but anyway check these out these are pretty cool these are green I tried to show them to you earlier in the car but I was driving and uh, we really couldn't do that good of a job so these come with clear already assembled so you can't take these off but they're uh, they're like ex 
combs. But I don't like how there's only... Oh, wait a minute. There is two of them. Okay, I was going to say, I think there's only one. No, there's two of them. But I like the, the green, the black, and the gray. I think that looks awesome. Especially for, like, the Gamma Bill. Because the Gamma Bill was all green. And these sleeve extensions would have looked great in it. So that's why I got these. Um, so I got three new pair of sleeve extensions. And two of them... One's a, like a light blue and the other one's kind of like this one, mixed. So I'm happy with it. But I just wanted to show it. Yo, check out this thing. Uh, it's like a server or something. But here, look inside. Check this out. Look, you got like these. Yeah, like that. Look. I'm going to take this thing home and play with it. I don't know what it is. Uh, there's a hard drive sitting there it must be like a server for a telephone or something I've never seen something like this look there's even something down there too let's, let's there we go look, there's like a power strip or something down there I don't know, it's old and it is dirty. Look, it has a floppy disk reader in it. Oh my God, it has a floppy disk reader. Wow, look at that power supply. Man, this thing has seen better days, hasn't it? Look, there's stuff back in there too. This is really cool. Let's see if one of these will come out. I bet it just pulls out. There it goes, like that. Oh wow. Check this thing out. Wow. It looks old. Man, that thing looks old. God, look at the board back there. That board runs the whole length of this thing. I wonder what kind of drive that is. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. And I can't pull it out. Look at the cables to it. Yeah, it's telephone. So this was some type of phone system or something at one time. This is cool. I don't know. I'm going to definitely take this thing home, take it apart. I could use the cabinet for something. Yeah, this is nice. We can use the cabinet. We'll clean it up, get it sprayed out. I'll do a video on taking this thing apart. If you guys want to see a video of me taking this thing apart, leave a comment below telling me that you want me to take it apart. I don't know how I'm going to get it in the truck. Hopefully it's not too heavy. Damn. Alright, well, make sure to like, subscribe this video. I appreciate you guys watching. I know the video kind of jumps around a little, but, you know, that is my style. Till next time. So I do not have everything I need just quite yet to start the ice water computer challenge thing, but I do have almost everything I need to start the wall PC. So what I've been working on is this acrylic. Um, I just got done drilling the holes, lining up the holes, and then I got machine set screws and stuff. Um, I'm going to get everything mocked up, take it all the back apart. Everything will have to be painted, cleaned up, all that good stuff. Uh, all right. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so these were the ones that I was thinking about using for this. Um, they, there's a blue and a gray and black. Man, these, man, these are nice. Oh yeah. So there's a gray, like, uh, there's gray everywhere. Then there's silver. So like silver and silver and silver. Well, there's blue here. And as you can see, that matches them pretty closely. So I'm thinking that it will look good with this build. So yeah, new sleeve extensions. Oh, I got some RGB in today. Let's see here, check these out. This is cool. These, man, I can't believe I found this. There's, they make these in three, three or four different colors red green blue orange whatever look they're USB strips right 
really nice ones too magnetic ones with uh, double sided to look at this to molex so you can just plug them right in and have nice crisp light oh um, they only come in solid colors so there's no change or nothing I went with blue so that way I can add some RGB to this I was thinking about putting them underneath to backlight the uh, the reserve or the what do you call it the radiator yeah you know what I meant okay back to work I got a lot to do this is gonna be like a five-part series by the way uh, all right so before I go any further I want to make sure that this is going to hold water and I want to make sure that the pumps will work so I got it all rigged together let's see what happens when we plug it in Pumps are running. Uh oh. Wow, that was quick. That thing sucked all that water out of that pump real fast. Shit. Let's uh, let's fill it with some water. I guess I should have known that that was going to happen. Suck some back up. This is going to be a cool project, dude. Alright, it is successfully working. You can see the water going through the filter there. I think that's awesome, that new filter we got. That's pretty cool. And our plumbing's working. No leaks there. And our pumps are pumping in unison. That's why they are both displaying the same amount of RPM, 22.9. So I can go ahead and proceed with running the loop from the radiator to the CPU. So this is exciting, I'm glad. And these LED lights that I bought, they were 11 bucks for these two. Um, they are extremely bright. Wow, they are extremely bright. Um, I bought blue, green, and red. The other ones haven't arrived yet, which I don't understand why. But the blue ones did. Um, and they are, boy, are they bright. Um, they're kind of hot, too. They get a little warm. Uh, man, I like the filter. This is great. I'm so excited. Uh-oh, what's that? That's not good. That's a leak. Where's that coming from? All right, well, I'll pick it up later on part.